Dozens of workers at the GM Flint Processing Center walked out today at noon, and they are still going strong from the beeping of the horns to the picketing to the chanting. They were chanting the words, we are the union, the mighty, mighty union. And just their presence here today alone is showing just that. Some of the things that the union is asking for, a 36% increase in pay over a four-year period, as well as a 32-hour work week for 40 hours of pay, and they want to bring pensions back. So far, companies have offered to pay a little over half of what they are requesting, saying they cannot afford to meet the full request. But the UAW members are not buying that. They say they have seen company earnings. They've seen what people in higher positions are making, and they are demanding more. Congressman Dan Kildee was also here today on the front lines in support with the, with the strike. Every time the workers have had to organize uh, to get a fair contract, they've had to go through sacrifice and struggle, and that's what's happening right now. So, you know, in the short term, yeah, it's tough, no question about it. But we can see the future. We can see a future with a better contract, with families with more resources to take care of their kids, to have, you know, a, a retirement that they can look forward to. The benefit, the long-term benefit of the short-term sacrifice clearly makes it worth it. And Senator Gary Peters issued a statement on X, formerly known as Twitter, saying that he continues to stand in solidarity with the UAW and that the UAW isn't asking for or fighting just for themselves, but for the future of America and the American dream. And I can tell you that is mirrors exactly what people out here have been telling me today. They are doing this for the people that are coming after them. And for now, we're live in Swartz Creek. Lanita Brooks, WNEM TV5. Lanita and Jane. Thank you. President